Uh, here. That does it for the grand festival. Hey, there's still time on the results, so hang on just a little while longer. Why not pass the time until the results are in by coming and watching our act? Hey, fins up for all the great work everyone put in. So I'm back. I'm doing this first because this is going to literally change in like five minutes, so I just wanted to take a quick look. But uh, the results are about to come in, and we're going to see them live. Hello. Yes. We're going to do a long stream tonight, but I'll get into that later. I'm going to do a ramble after we properly get into this. Sunset of the last day. So it doesn't look like anything's too different. They were the Twitter account said that they were going to be doing um, their post. Why did it again? It changes to that. <laughs> I swear it's just there as a joke now. <clears throat> it looks like they're all performing their like credits themes for their uh, for their respective games, but we're not going to be hearing much of it because it's only going for another couple minutes. Also, the stage is canopy is destroyed. <laughs> I wanted to be here a little earlier for this, but I kind of had a lot to do tonight, so I kind of had to rush other stuff. Got ranch here right now. It's so good. Ah, I love it when it hits good. I have, uh, I have Haritos. I'm going to be drinking later. I had a lime one last night, and I have a, uh, a pineapple one for later. Anyway, someone pointed out this awesome moment that totally happened on, on at the Splatfest. We just missed it because I didn't stream this particular moment. Absolutely canon. Thank you for Brandon JS4 for, for, for making this canon. And it was based off a screenshot that almost looks like it happened that way. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Lime is good. What? No, it's... <laughs> Were you wanting what I just showed, or were you wanting that I had pineapple? Because that's good, too. It's canon. If Nintendo had the cojones to make it canon, that'd be amazing. Exactly the right time. So apparently, all three bands are singing like their story mode finale themes. But the map's about to change in 10 seconds. I think, oh, yeah, it's, only, it's three songs just cycling through the three stages. I wish we could have been here for all three of them, but we got one, and that's, that's all that matters. We got the best one, and that's all that matters. I think Deep Cut One is new, and it's very good. Ah, oh, cool. Wasn't so sure towards Pearl at first, but leaning more about her over time made me like her more. I mean, Off the Hook in general is just the best idol group. Anyway, tis the moment of truth. I jumped right into this without doing an intro or anything. This is this is a bonus segment. We're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna after this is done I'm gonna like do a proper ramble, then take a short break, and then we're gonna do Kingdom Hearts the rest of the night.
Hey, hey, breaking news, hot off the press. Hmm? What's got you all flustered? Hey, it's the Splatfest results. Get hype. Don't need to tell me twice. Yeah. All right, here we go. First up, Splatfest sneak peek results. The team with the most con shells was... It was present. Wow, they crushed it. Next up, which team got the most votes? Getting the bandwagon for it. It's going to be present again. They definitely had the most votes overall. 57% versus... Oh my god. Well, unfortunately, that doesn't equate winning. No way. Hey, hey, what's next? Tell me. Time for a clout check. Open pro and tricolor clout results incoming. All at once? Hold up, I need a moment to cool off before all this excitement. And... Damn it. Wow. Past fucking blew, the, blew our shit out. Future didn't get any points. And last but not least, the part you've been waiting for. Final results, right? Spill them! Listen up, it's going down. The overall Splatfest win goes to... Hey, hey, ah, can't take the suspense. Big man, you don't even need to worry about your team at all. <laughs> team passed Rain Victorious in the Grand Festival. Hey! Oh yeah, we did it, Marie. Whoop, whoop. This can't be happening, right? Ah! Shout out to everyone on Team Past. You are all the best. They sure are. I think our team used their past experiences to get the upper hand. Team Present fought like there was no tomorrow. Weren't they great, Pearl? Yeah, who cares about the history books, will say. Mad props to all ya. Team Future really went for it. We're still the actual future, you know. Fresh as ever. Hey, hey, thank you for all your support. You're so cool for picking us. Can I say I won anyway since past was the team you were going to join? No, because you didn't join Team Past. <laughs> you joined my team. We got second. LOL. I'm on Big, Big Man's team if you're not playing Splatoon. Hey, Karma. It's leaning towards past, but I like present, too. I mean, the best idols were present, so... Why wouldn't you choose that? Now I'm going to have to hear Deep Cut's new song. In honor of Team Past victory, let's hear some of everyone's favorite memories. Ooh, I got one. Or 30. I could talk about battle stories forever. Mine would be the day I first heard Pearl's voice at Mount Nantai. Let me set the stage. Um, not sure we have the airtime to go that far back. Save it for a podcast. Oh, I still want to hear it. The seven of us should get together another time. Totes, I got way more to say about the Grand Festival with y'all. Right, getting back to that, massive congratulations to everyone on Team Past. Hey, really, everyone was amazing, and I'm not just saying that. I'm overly sincere. Alright, see you later, everyone. We'll be waiting for you in Inkopolis Plaza. And of course, you can catch us anytime in Inkopolis Square. Hope to see you all in the crowd. Hey, hey, thank you to the Squid Sisters and Off the Hook. We're legends for this. Catch you later. Hey, hey, whew. Guess that's that. Is that a post-Splatfest letdown? Haven't felt this feeling before. Maybe Big Man was right when he said that Splatlands and Inkopolis should get along. Hey, what? It's just, you know, seeing how the Splatfest went, I finally get it. You called it. Hey, Fro, you're kind of scaring me. No, she's right. When I saw all those happy faces, I dreamed of what could be. Hey, hey, Shiver, you too? Aw, oh, look at you, you big softie, getting all teary-eyed. Let it out, big man. Crying releases endorphins, you know. Yeah, free the dolphins. Anyway, you good, big man? <laughs> Before he answers, he should promise no more secret collabs, right? Hey, right, no more collabs, even if we're friendly. I want to make deep cut music. Oh, <laughs> look how fired up he is now. You're the best songwriter, big man. That's why we want to keep you for ourselves. Hey, hey, we're better together. Plus, the three of us are the best, the brightest. Hey, bandmates forever! As long as the three of us stick together, anything is possible. To the future! Hey, and that's all for now, folks. It would be better if they won, but at the same time, I want a team present to win.
the end of the end of Splatoon 2s was good too, where where um, Marina was scared that they would they would break up by by Team K by Team with Team Chaos winning, and then uh, Pearl was like, "No, I still want to make music with you. We just need to go on like tour or something." And they were like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> kind of hoping they would just play the credits after that. Yeah, I was hoping for something like one last nice, beautiful like moment, but. We'll, we'll hopefully get to revisit the area in full once the uh, next update comes out for the amiibo. What do you got for sale today? I didn't, I didn't look. Orange bumper again. Alright, now to go back to not playing this. Though I heard Splatterween this year is going to have the Splatoon 2, uh, like, Halloween items available. So it's going to be a little, so it will, there will be incentive to playing it. Does it need to be updated? I don't think it works current as it is currently. I'm gonna put my uh, I'm gonna put some grindy gear back on. Charcoal decapitator, yes, that's what I'm gonna be using if I decide to do this again. Yeah, that would be the last thing I draw. Uh, I am going to check the Amiibo now because I couldn't all weekend, and I did get a lot of victories, so there's probably some stuff to get. And I dropped my Amiibo chip. My Octoling Girl Amiibo chip. Pick that up. Amiibo. <laughs> oh. You see, yeah, you won three hundred times battles earlier. I, I can't believe I didn't get a single one of those. Bummed out. I mean, this was without a doubt the best event that they've done in any Splatoon game. They just put so much effort into it. <laughs> You've been hard at work battling, haven't you? Take this present. They got the World Tour jacket. Now, do I get the headpiece? Yes, I do. Good. Uh-oh, looks like I just gave you the last present I have to give. But true friendships never end, and need to do battles. Go get them. Need help with something? Nah. Oh, yeah, you can. Let's look at the other thing first. Here, hold on. Let me get my, my pearl equipment real quick. What's up, B? How you living? Yo, way to get your battle on. Here, I got you this. World Tour Puffy Coat, which is literally just a spacesuit with gold trim underneath it. World Tour Crown. Go, go show off your style in a multiplayer battle. Oh, looks like I just gave you my last present. Womp womp. But I'm still your hypest hype squid, so keep those battles going. So what's up? You need something? About the Grand Festival. Remember colorful evenings. Remember the Night of Unity. Remember that Tranquil Dawn. Well, we didn't see the other two songs for the Tranquil Dawn, so we'll just go back and check that out. You want to hear what the Grand Festival was like? No probs, I'll tell you all about it. Okay, here goes. When you want to be done, pick the station to come back. Oh, that's so cool. So as long as you have one of the, one of any of the idols amiibos, you could reaccess any of the Grand Festival spots. It looks like it's just one generic piece of dialogue to load it up, but that's still cool. Posts right now are offline ones. Uh, probably because I got disconnected. It was uh, disconnected when you first when you first get in, I think. I love how the I love how the uh, the I, I get it again. I love how the um the jellyfish all look like members of the Beatles. 
Well, got like that 60s hippie look to them. Only found out today that one of the offline posts with the actual guy running Hot Lantis looks like. Oh, really? So this is supposed to be dawn. This is supposed to be like the break, the daybreak of a new day, not sunset. God, this event was so good, and I'm so happy that there's a there's a way to relive it, at least through, through the amiibo. And it, it gives it gives the amiibo such a great usage, and I'm just I'm happy that I that I splurged on these two amiibo right before this this, this thing. <laughs> they both look the same sometimes, yeah. But I the way they're drawing this looks like it's more daybreak than sunset. Is it cold where I am? No, it was actually very warm yesterday. I'll talk about stuff in more detail uh, when we're done with this. After after I'm done with Splatoon, I'm gonna do a ramble, and then we'll we'll start Kingdom Hearts. Think of this is new? I don't know. I don't think I've heard this song before. It's supposed to say the name, but I got it, I got on stage too late for it. Some of them are still waving. That's cool. It's a shame that this last segment's only only two hours long, but since there's only three songs anyway, they could check the name in the lobby jukebox, possibly. If it's new, it should be there new, because I actually just checked the jukebox a few minutes ago. Into the light. We we heard this one already. Where's the squid? Where are the squid squid sisters playing? Nope, that's them again. Yeah. I do like the jacket, though. I never did listen to the whole set list for the initial day either. I just never had time. But now that I have the now that I could go back to this anytime I want, that's that's pretty cool. And you know what? 
that's such a... It's, I'm just happy you can, because they put so much effort into this. It would really stink to just not be able to go back here, even if it is just a hub world. Weird feelings with this one. Last time you heard it was immediately after the Splatoon 1 servers closed. Apparently the performance loop was nearly an hour long. Wow. I guess I didn't really need to rush here, huh? I could have just waited since I could have just came back at any time. It is weird to think that like, Splatoon 3 is over. It's not it's not over over, but it's over. That said, like I like I mentioned before, there is um there is data suggesting that like Splatoween this year will happen. And um it'll be adding in the Splatoween wep uh, items from Splatoon 2. So there's gonna be new like new equipment to get at least. I still remember the first time I saw the Squid Sisters during that first Splatoon Direct, and gosh, I can't even remember the first Splatoon Direct. I remember... When did they reveal Splatoon for the first time? Was that at the World Championships? They, they, they played Splatoon at the 2015 Championships, but I think that was right after it came out. Yeah, no, that was actually, that was actually after it came out, because I played the demo, or I played the tutorial of, uh, yeah, E3 2015. Play Demo 1, had a lot of fun, to be honest. Me too. That was the only time I think I've ever touched a Wii U. I went to the Nintendo World Store and I played the tutorial area... ...of uh, Splatoon 1. And then I had to stop, because, you know, I was in a store, I couldn't stand there and play it. Also, I don't think there was online play in those on those Wii U's. But I got Splatoon 2 Day 1, I was so excited. I participated in the global test fire for that. Back when, uh... The Switch first came out. I remember I was so excited. I was like, oh, finally I get to play this series. This game looks great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, saltiness aside, this song is definitely the shortest of the three. There's another IP stuck, like, actually stuck. I mean, ARMS. Remember ARMS? <laughs> that game did well, and it still fell apart. Nintendo has not revisited that idea. Min Min got put in Smash, and then they promptly forgot about it. I heard the manga for ARMS is actually really good. This is a nice farewell or thank you to the fans. Of course, yeah. No, I agree. This is uh, an excellent finish for it. Daybreaker Anthem is the name of this song. Yeah, and Small Fry's here, too. Where to? Next song, start time. Oh, look at that! Into the oh, that's so cool! So you could actually just yeah, you could you could, and you could switch the day too. So you don't even need need to leave. You could just load it. It's like a separate program that they have running. That's so good. Nintendo put way it's so much effort into this thing. That's cool. At some point, I'm gonna sit down and just listen to the whole playlist on repeat. That's that, that's just sound, it's just cool. I, like I'm, it would be neat if someone recorded it and just put it on YouTube, so I don't have to load in the game to do it. But still, you can't check the uh, you can't check the screen while it's going on though. Already done, yeah. Guess people love the squids and stuff. Yep. You can't actually go back to the city though while doing this. Back to the city, yeah. It just it boots you out. I want to see it. It is only the idle amiibo, right? Like the other ones aren't going to work. Ooh. 
What was new here? There was like one new battle. The city counted as the festival square, yeah. Daybreaker Anthem's here. That might be the ending theme to Alterna in story mode. There was a new song, but I didn't see what it was on ba in Battles. Now this song, this song I remember, this was the main theme of Splatoon 2 when it first came out. Any theme would probably be under story mode segment, oh. Hmm. <coughs> oh my god, that was a bad cough. God, this was so good. It was so good. I might still play in the Splatfests when they happen, just to just to play them, but I like how it keeps the ink on the base, but none of the ink on the uh on the actual amiibo. Need a halls or something? No, I'm good. Is there something you like to ask a small fry? Nope, yeah, you can only do uh you can only go back with um with an actual idle amiibo. Friend. <laughs> Let me put all my stuff back here. Here, here's my here's my forbidden amiibo. He would remember though, yeah. A little finicky. Yeah, this this amiibo that I don't technically own. Fake Octo. <laughs> I actually called her. F oh no, that's because that's when I named her. That's when I named the amiibo. I think. Yeah. That's uh. That's not actually an amiibo I have. That is a a small. A small circular ship with the amiibo on it. Don't tell Nintendo. I just really wanted the witch gear, and that's how you get it. You get it from that amiibo. That sounds scared you? Which one? The error sound? Oh. Just remember, I love that detail that their English got better between games. Yeah, because it's implied that the Octolings didn't speak English. Or didn't speak their, their language. I mean, technically, they're not speaking English. That, that language is not... That, that's not... That's not English. <laughs> you posted this shit now. Like, look at the subtitle on there. You posted that shit now, people would think that was AI-generated. The way that subtitle text looks up there. As long as not wingdings, comic sans. I'm gonna miss the lobby having special decoration. They'll probably they'll probably ink you know, English. They'll probably uh they'll probably redo the special decorations and stuff. Again, they've already they pretty much already confirmed that Splatoween is still happening. I'm wondering if it's gonna be the same options or not though. Maybe it'll be different options. So you never know. The game the game may not be over over, but it's like this was like the finale of Splatoon. We're probably not seeing anything major from this point on. And, uh, you know what? That's fine. This game... This game had a lot going for it. It had a lot already. Even if it's not necessarily maybe what fans fully wanted. I'm gonna end out here, because this music's annoying. Wonderful decorations have been deleted. If you could still cheat them in without adding the files back. 
good question. I can't imagine they would delete them. There's one song from Story Mode of, of Splatoon 2 that I really liked. But since it's not here, we'll just we'll just do it seep and destroy. Our our favorite song. Where's the speaker the loudest? What was that? Was that an error screen? I've never really looked- I've never really, like, kept a look at, at this thing for too long. It just kind of shows off the stages when it's on a Splatfest. That Cloud stance. That's absolutely the type of stance Cloud takes when he's holding the Buster Sword. Oh, it actually shows which stages are active. That's cool. Uh, two years, and I and I, didn't, I never noticed all that. Inco incoming ARG, yeah. But yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much all she wrote. I don't know if I'm gonna stream this game again. Um, to be honest, I I'm still salty over over the alternative thing over after alternative crashing on me. Um, but I do want to finish it at some point. And I also never finished the Agent 3 battle in Octo Expansion 2. I would love to go back and finishing finish both of those at some point, but I don't know if that'll ever happen, just because I don't have the patience to get frustrated and angry at the game. M more than I already was when I was getting annoyed at my teammates during the last stream. <laughs> where Grand Fest had showed ads for the Grand Fest, somehow having footage of an event yet to happen. You know, just preview footage, early access. But yeah, um, I think I'm all, I think I'm all splatooned out. And I think it's safe to say that, like, this, this series has been amazing. Your teammates suck well and did anyway. Well, just that first part. It got better. Um. This series was amazing. I'm, I'm sad I never got, I, I'm sad I'd never Wii U so I could get into this from the get-go, but... I still followed everything Splatoon-related while it was going on. I jumped on 2 as soon as it came out. I jumped on 3 as soon as it came out, despite my reservations about it. I was actually kind of iffy on getting 3 right away. It wasn't until people said that, like, oh, it, it looks... It, early preview said, oh, it's amazing. It's better than 2. That I was really on board for it. I mean, I cut my playthrough of Octo Expansion short to play 3 because of um, just the issues I was having with the hidden boss. I would have kept doing that if... if Splatoon 3 didn't rest my uh, attention away. I remember loving Splatoon 3's multi uh, single player mode. I loved playing through that on stream. It was one of my favorite streams of that year. But yeah, it's it's an interesting series, and uh, while I've had my problems with it, it's definitely been one that I've had a lot more fun with friends talking about than a lot of other stuff. And it's been long lasting. You know, the whole series has been around for t almost ten years. Nine years and, and almost nine and a half at this point. Came out in what May of 2015. So it's been it's been about nine years. It's been about almost ten years. And uh, Nintendo has said that this is kind of the end of like where the series is starting or where the series is right now. So probably when Splatoon 4 happens on next Switch, which by the way that's going to be the next big thing Nintendo's doing here. You know that's like going to be like the thing we're going to be talking about for the next two months leading up to when it gets revealed. When, when Splatoon 4 happens on Switch 2, I'm sure it'll probably be the same, but also probably not. We'll have to see. I had a personal stake in the Splatfest because of the whole past, present, future thing. The last year has been weird for me with, you know, things that have happened. Um, you know, I, 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 I kind of mentioned this briefly, but, like, you know, there's, there's people in my life that aren't here anymore as of the last year and a half, and 
it, it felt kind of almost poetic to have a Splatfest dedicated to like the like the concept of looking back, moving forward, and also just living for today. And I think I ultimately chose living for today because it's like I I get obsessed over what's going to happen to me in the future, and I also get hung up on what happened in the past already. So I feel like neither of those are healthy ways to live. So that's why I ultimately went with Team Present. And without getting more more in depth and emotional than that, I think that's you know a any reason to choose a team is justified, especially for you know funny funny game that had a rubber band controller and split you in the first installment. If people remember that, <laughs> um, if you played local multiplayer two player, the second player had to use a, a Wii U Pro controller uh, tied to a Wii Mote for it to work because you needed motion controls and the Pro controller did not have motion controls. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, it's been great. Wherever wherever the series goes from here, I'm on board. I'll be there day one, as long as nothing's happened to me. I'm hoping other people will be too. I'm hoping the system it runs on will be good. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy. Team Present may have lost, but I'm, I'm still so happy to have been part of it while it was happening. Because that's what it means to live in the present. I was there while it happened. And now that it's in the past, it's a nice memory. And I think that's really all there is to say about it. And now, now let me kill everyone here. So I think that's going to do it. I can actually relate. I chose Future for personal reasons as well. I might elaborate on them later, but so that can happen if peep someplace a bit more appropriate. Yeah. Hey, Neat Dreams. Welcome back. Alright, and I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else worth looking into. At a higher victory rate than defeat rate, which is nice. I think, I think that'll do it for now. Splatoon 3 was awesome. I'm sure I, I'm sure it's not the last time I'll play it. Might be the last time I stream it. But it was it was it was a time and I really enjoyed it and my PNG tuber froze. <laughs> wow. That happened in like real time there. Cool. Learn the ins and outs of playing online now that the game is over. <laughs> We got any, uh, new icons here? They've been- Nintendo's kind of gone light on the icons lately. They only do, like, one- one game of them now, and then they'll do, like, they'll do, like, a, like, an NSO icon with, like, old stock art, which is cool, but... Yeah, no, nothing happened there. Cool. Well, uh, I think that'll be that. Um, stick around. I'll be right back. We'll do a we'll do a ramble, and then I'll do Kingdom Hearts for the rest of the night, and we'll make up for lost time in that. Stick around; I'll be back in just a few.